Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, the 2018 German Darts Open Final. First leg, Michael to throw first. Game on. And that's what they are playing for, the title of German Darts Open Champion 2018. Both men have picked up titles in the past. They've both been the world youth champion. Smith in 2013, Hopp two years later. But without doubt, this is the biggest match of Max Hopp's career. 23. And as well as the title, an important £25,000 of prize money to the winner, 10000 to the runner-up, which could be crucial particularly for Max in his 140. position. 140. First task has been in the 20 minutes or so since the semi-final to, to bring himself back down to earth after that incredible 100. last four clash against the world champion, Rob Cross. We've mentioned what Max Hopp has been doing over the last few weeks. 140. He's now beaten eight of the world's top 20 in the last three weeks. Yeah, to hold his nerve against Rob Cross, went to a deciding leg, 1-2-1, one, one, finishing on the bullseye. 96. And, and it was dead centre, wasn't it? A perfect bull dart. But now the... Bully boy, the man in the way. 57. He's already picked up a couple of titles this year. He's got a UK Open qualifier. He's won a player's championship title too. Maybe he'll go on to complete the, the full set in 2018 by winning a Euro Tour crown and then potentially his first major, his first big TV title somewhere along the line. 104 for starters. 64. And still very much in the mix in the Premier League as well, Michael Smith. Yeah, second place behind Michael van Gerwen. As they head to Rotterdam for the double header this week, Wednesday and Thursday, building up towards finals night 93. at the O2 Arena Michael in London Ryan next month. 40. Loves double ten. Game shot the first leg. And that's why. Smith. And yeah, you mentioned the Premier League. Focus. Well, game on. Just cast your mind back to Thursday night when Michael Smith was in the Missed of his match against Rob Cross, which he, he lost 59. under the bright lights of a big stage Premier League in front of thousands of fans. Max Hopp was quietly going about his business, qualifying for this and the next Bobby. European Tour event in Graz next weekend. Winning six matches on the night. And who would have dreamt then that it would lead 100. to this for Max Hopp? He's... Won 11 matches since Thursday night. If he can make it 12, 96. he'll sign a cheque for 25 grand to him. But more important than that, he'll become a senior PDC champion. He's the first German player, in fact, to have appeared in a, a PDC ranking final. Well, he certainly earned it with that run that he's had to get here. 98. And playing that number of matches and seeing off we mentioned the reigning world champion Rob Cross, but also beating Joe Cullen, Benito van der Pass, and notably the number two seed Peter Wright, who had contested the opening two finals 58. alongside Michael, Michael van Gerwen. Yeah, he's not fallen into this position at all, Max Hopp. Has he got 60. something left in the tank? on a huge, huge night. This is what they've all been waiting for. Max Hopp to rise. One hundred and forty-five. Michael, you require seventy-two. A good setup shot, but Smith has a chance to break. He's got a couple of darts. A double twelve. Game shot Needs the just one. Leg. Michael Smith. And Michael Smith has already Michael started to at least crumple the script somewhat. Yes, yeah, he's been looking good. Michael Smith today. And so off the man who, Eight for the second four. year in a row, beat Michael Van Gerwen at the quarterfinal stage here. Ian White saw him off in some spectacular fashion with a 7-1 victory and a 107.2 average in his semi-final earlier this evening. Yeah, he's bidding to make moves up the world rankings too. Michael Smith was 10th before this tournament. He's already leapfrogged James Wade. Could leapfrog Simon Whitlock too. 
into eighth spot on the main order of merit. And we've been talking, well, 99. for a while now, but, but even this weekend about the love of the sport of darts that Germany have. And uh, wherever the sport goes, whichever venue 96. gets packed out, more and more tournaments being staged here for that reason. And how they've been desperate for a player to break through and emerge and play among the elite at the latter 79. stage of the TV tournaments. The thing is, too, it's come at a time when people were starting to question if Max Hopp would ever be the man that would deliver for them. Of course, he's given them some fantastic moments in his still fledgling career. He's only 21, for goodness sake, but spent a, a couple of years in the darting doldrums. He hadn't reached any kind of quarterfinal since his first on the European Tour back in 2016. And then all of a sudden, out of a, seemingly out of a clear blue sky, he's reached three in three weeks. And this one converted into a semi and then a final. Smith misses two at top, but Hop is too far back. And is he going to find himself too far back in the final very, very quickly? Yes, it's all coming together very nicely indeed for Max Hall. 100. Michael, you've acquired 40. But Michael Smith has a chance for a 3 0 lead on that Michael double Smith. top. Fourth leg, Max to Devastating on it Game yet off. again there. First to eight legs on the European Tour final now. Slightly longer format as Max Hopp looks wow. to get his first 180 of the match. And Michael Smith says, anything you can do, I can do. 180. And the 180th, 180 there of this tournament. Well, I rather hope we get the 181st in this leg. Good responses from Max Holt. Michael Smith 90. winning the first three legs here. Well, the last time they met, in fact, the only time they ever met, he didn't get a single leg against Max Hopp at UK Open qualifier in 2015. Max Hopp beat the Bully Boy 6-0. 57. Wow. So there's not going to be a, a repeat of that scoreline tonight, that's for sure. There's a long way to go. 80. And we've Max seen how strong Max has been at battling when he gets involved in dogfights with opponents in recent weeks and this weekend in particular. Well, he's got to go for the treble 18. And you'd have quite fancied him to peg the ball the way he's been hitting it. Might want to swap nicknames because he's certainly been the bully boy in this tournament. But Michael Smith... Indulging in some bullying here, can't quite find the double Max for a big checkout, and you feel that this has to really go for Max to get himself into the clash. Game shot the fourth leg. Max Hoff. Yeah, that was a big double, as you say, Chris. Game on. That really would have helped flatten the crowd's enthusiasm if that uh, big one for eight checkout had gone in from Smith, but Max Hop keeping the tie. Alive, that's for sure. And we saw in the semi final, the closer it gets, the louder they get, the more involved they get. 134. <laughs> 100. Maximizer Max because he's been firing in plenty of 180s as you can see there. 95. The 20th of the tournament. Not many men can outscore Michael Smith. Granted, he's played a match fewer. 131. Yes, he's been banging in the maximums and holding his nerve to hit the winning doubles when it's mattered. And that's a maturity which Max, maybe at times we hadn't seen in the past from Max Hopp. 
Well, this would be for a break of throw. Double two to complete a dozen dart leg. 52. Smith just missed Mike a double for a, a 148. Might need to take out the 149, not going to. Massive moment for Max Hop. 59. Double two for a break of throw. Oh, double one. He's ended up in the madhouse a number of times this weekend. Michael, you require 90. And another big moment, you feel. But he's got to hit the double 15, Gage he does. On the fifth leg. For 4-1 now. Sixth leg, Max yeah, a chance. Snatched Game away on. by Michael Smith there. Max Holt needs to regroup. He got himself in a very, very strong position in that leg. Of course, he's European Tour Finals now first to eight legs. So he's not in as big a hole as he would have been had this final occurred last year. 177. The way Smith's throwing, he's rapidly approaching it. Yeah, Smith adding to, looking to add to his four European Tour titles. 60. Yeah, it's an eighth European Tour final two for Michael Smith. Often plays his best starts here, but he's, as you mentioned 58. before, returned to the Premier League in some style. His last European Tour win broke up the dominance of 2017 from Peter Wright and Michael Van Gerwen. With victory in Gibraltar over Mensur Sulevic. Yeah, that was a, a very, very important win in Michael Smith's self-assessment. In his career, he said he, it's where he was able to recapture the belief that he could win tournaments again. And he's already won a couple this year. If he were to win this, he would match his best ever tally. That was in 2015 when he won three titles. 60. Max, you've acquired and we're only in April. Now Hop, needing 96 to move back within two. That time the dart did get in the way, so Michael Smith. Michael, you've acquired well, he's had attempts at 148 and 149. Can he take out 147? Not this time. So Thompson again reduced the arrears to two legs. 40. For Max Hop. That's a long way off. Closer. And in, and that could be very, very important with Michael Smith perch. Game on. on a double. Hop just slams the door shut. Stays in touching distance. Yeah, Smith tasting victory in Gibraltar last year. The European Tour returns to the Victoria Stadium in June of this year. The next weekend, just over the uh, border from Germany into Austria, 100. the players, a new venue, Premstaten for the Austrian darts open. Yeah, both these players will be there. Max Hopp earning that double qualification. And then, as I was saying, it's a far cry from last year. He was struggling to qualify for many of these events. It's an absolutely incredible turnaround in his fortunes. 60. One hundred and two. Down to a big finish and the crowd just gone a bit quiet. And Michael Smith will have to try and use that to his advantage because Michael as you said, the closer his matches have got during the afternoon, the louder the crowd have got to cheer on the man. Sixty. Yeah, they're, they're gripped by the occasion. They're all feeling it. They're all it's a strange atmosphere, really, in a game of darts where the whole crowd are with one player. 100. 
Michael, you can you can just hear clusters of the crowd trying to get him going, but many of them as nervous as him. 67. Yes, and hope you're as gripped by wherever you're watching us as the 3,000 fans in the Saarland Hala are here tonight. 81. Yeah, I'm not sure how much Michael, you require 40. the price of a seat was, but most of them have only used the edge of it. Game shot the seventh leg, Michael Smith. Eighth leg he might be sitting back a little now because Michael Smith is threatening to just bully Max Hopp out of this final. Yes, any time Max looks what like he might start getting anywhere near the coattails of Michael Smith, Michael Smith turns the screw and wins another leg. 100. He's a role model for the likes of Max Hopp to follow, though, Michael Smith. There was a time when he would not have been able to deal with this situation. Michael Smith was 100. known for maybe a little bit of immaturity in his earlier years, but he's we've seen the boy become the man in the last couple of seasons. One and he might well be the man tonight. Yes, he certainly earned his place and deserves his place. One hundred and the games of elite, Michael Smith. And certainly proven to be worthy of a return to the Premier League this year. I just feel that Max Hopp Max needs something like this. And it is the Hopp. The 1 6 1. Not going to happen. And the Bully Boy. Want to finish? It requires just one treble. 97. Michael, you require 130. Ninety-four doesn't find one, Max but again, a, a pressure shot. Smith waiting on a double, and again needs to hit it. You feel looking at double eight. Fifty-six oh, can't hit it. Could again be a big Michael nut moment with Michael poised on double eighteen. Double nine. Eighteen can't hit it. So. Another lifeline for Max. Yes, Michael Smith thundering. Three clear darts at double. And now Max Hopp must fill his boots. And does. And again, he just clings to the court tails. The St. Helens man. Is there a twist in the tail? 140. He's back to within two legs again. Smith kicks off with a ton 40. Max just taking his time before approaching the board. You mentioned the lull in the crowd a few moments ago. 100. Just get the sense. Like Phil Collins always tells us before these European Tour finals that there may be something 57. in the air tonight. <laughs> Could be the Calm before the storm. Is one brewing from the maximizer? That 13 dart, obviously the highlight. In terms of the legs, 100. Almost five points disparity on the average. It's solid stuff. It's respectable stuff for a man in his first. PDC final, but we know that he's got more. We've seen it. We've seen it in the semi final. 60. And if he can just move up a gear, he could really, really trouble Michael Smith because he's not quite at his brilliant best. Yeah, Max's overall tournament average going into this game was 94.6, but it would have been higher than that had he not uh, got embroiled in that battle with Benito van der Pass and missing umpteen doubles. Michael Smith's tournament average just over 100, 100.3 going into this final. Well, that first loose start wouldn't have mattered had he kept straight on the final one, but Hopp has left himself a, a big 
96. Three bigger combination. Max, you require 130 By finding the treble one with the last. Would have been a better break chance. Michael Smith on 50. You're looking at 10, maybe even the treble. Tops it is. Game and tops he gets, and a little Michael shush Smith. to the crowd. Not sure that's Ten wise. Game on. Just two more legs needed. Now first to eight in the European Tour Finals. 81. And whatever happens here, if Michael Smith just continues to steamroller in this final and see off the job in the next few minutes, it has been a, a remarkable weekend for Max Holt. A man who, in 2012, rocked up on the European Tour as a 16-year-old and beat the likes of Steve Beaton and Terry Jenkins in the run to the last 16. Made his World Championship debut later that year. And since then, he's had the hopes of a nation firmly placed on his shoulders. And at times, he's found it difficult to deal with. Yes, it's great for him. It's great for the profile of German darts as well. And just having a look at, at social media before the final, you know, the amount of people talking about Max Hart. His profile is sure to rise even further, not only in Germany, but the world of darts generally. Great visit from Max Holt. 133. Michael Smith on a, a huge out. This would really hurt. It would really, really hurt. Not going to happen. Hop once again in that position where he, he needs to go out because Max Michael Smith 50. has left himself a double. 18 for double 16 is the way he's going. Double eight. Another big moment. And he can't hit it. Michael, you require well, it was seconds. right on the wire. So near, yet so far. Double nine. 18. Nine. And will it be Yar oh. for Max Holt when he returns? Max, you require 16. Is this another of those twists? Yet again, it would reduce yeah. the arrears to just two legs. Max Holt. 11th line, Michael to the first, game on. Just can't quite get rid of him. Has had a couple of chances to really put this game to bed. And the more that happens, will both of these players start to get the sense that it's somehow written in the stars in Saarbrücken this weekend. 140. A solid start from both players to this 11th leg. 91. Oh, a bounce out, not what 38. Smith was needed. Certainly not, there's a real chance here. If Max Hop can pile in a couple of trebles there's one that's all he needed to leave air finish he wants to do much better than that now then tables may be turning 60 max you require 90 For 6 5 and to really give Michael Smith something to think about. Well, it won't happen now. We will tidy up and Michael hope that Michael Smith can't take out this grandstand shot of 170. He won't do. So to go to within one leg of the number four seed, double six for Max Hopp. Well, if he hits it, just keep your ears peeled. Game 
for that roar. Next up, game on in this German Darts Open final. It had started to look as if Michael Smith would coast to the crown. Max Hot wouldn't go away, and now he's in it. He's in it to win it. A crucial break of throw. A raise of the eyebrows from Michael Smith to his team. 100. He's just not been able to shrug off the German, Michael Smith. And now he is right back in it. And Michael Smith will need to dig deep here if he is to prevent the fairy tale and break those German hearts tonight. Given the chance, I don't think he'll buckle. If he was going to do that, it would have happened against Rob Cross, but he planted a dart right in the middle of the bullseye to win it. Yeah, that's an immense bottle from Hop in that semi-final. Could not have been under more pressure. 100. Max, you require 164. And he's moments away from levelling this up and making it a race to two legs. 100. How can Smith respond? He's hit one treble. The one would be nice, it's Maxi just a ton. Great dart for the legs. It is level. And it's on. The fairy tale continues. And I'll tell you what, Mike, you were here last year. This German darts open is only two years old. It's Probably provided the best two finals on the European Tour in terms of drama. Oh, I'm yes. not sure what twist this tale has got in the end. Yeah, Benito van der Pass had a European Tour victory in his hands, but was denied by Peter Wright 100. in the epic final last year. And this one is turning into another classic. It's not got the astronomical averages. Benito van der Pass was 110 in that final, but it's got drama. It's got tension. It's got narrative. And it's got the German number one, potentially, 40. en route to delivering, finally, to the millions of German darts fans that have been waiting for a moment like this. Those three legs in a row. To bring him all square. It's now effectively the best of three. Ninety-one. The best of five, of course, being first to eight in the final. One hundred. Still beautifully poised for any neutrals watching. Yeah, it's still in control. He's got the throw. He's down to a finish first. He could move within one. Hop needs to find a treble. He's an expert at doing it with a dart like that. He practices that shot more than probably any other player on the tour. 70 players 170. It's two darts. 50. Two darts missed. Max, you require well, this, this couldn't happen, could it? 170 <laughs> at this point in the final. Surely not. He's taken out a 161. Surely not. It's on, you know. Bullseye, which would raise the roof here in Saarbrücken. His partner can't watch. In terms of finishers in any match of darts, this would be incredible. Oh, not ball. <laughs> Michael, you require 20. Well, it's usually trusty 10 to Michael Smith. Game and he's dodged a bullet play. there. Michael Smith, 14 leg max to the first game on. Yes, one more he's saying, one more, that's all Michael Smith needs. Get the job done. 100. Yeah, the heart must have been racing when Max Hot plonked a couple of treble 20s in. 
I know mine was. <laughs> Still is. 96. You see, not much between them. Not at all. Well, there's a ton 80. 180. The first ton 80 that Michael Smith's hit for a while. A Is question that? asked. Yeah. Here comes the answer. 180. <laughs> Superb stuff. It really, really is. 55. Almost unthinkable before this tournament. But here is Max Hopp on the brink of forcing a last leg decider in the final. He loves treble 17 followed by the bullseye. He absolutely loves it. 96. Oh, well. Michael, you require Move the wire. 170. Well, your turn, Michael. Well, he's hit one. Oh, he can't hit the second. 100. So 25 Maxi to take us to 25. a 15th and deciding leg in this German Darts Open final. Well, tense, tense, tense. Can he gather himself? Double four. Yeah. He does, you know. We are going all the way. Michael Smith may have the darts. But Max Hopp has the hearts of 3,000 fans in this arena. And is the bully boy going to break them? This has been absolutely superb. A, a, a fitting finale to a fantastic weekend of darts and a fantastic ride to the final. His first ever European final by Michael Smith. By, right. by Max Hopp, I should say. <laughs> Michael Smith is the man standing him in his, in his way. 60. Thank you. That's why we love this sport. Blow for blow. Incredible drama on that stage. And we've reached a point of the cliffhanger. 140. Nothing in it. 7-7, seven, seven, 2 six, one left each. 100. And Michael Smith won't be showing any sympathy to his opponent or the 3,000 German compatriots backing their man. He wants a fifth European tour trophy to his name. Well, the, both of these players are going to be on finishers as long as Max Holt stays straight. He's set back just to keep his composure. He's on a better finish. It could not be any more in the balance. Another, oh, it won't happen. Needed a second treble. Is this the moment? He beat the world champion Rob Cross in his semi final with a 1 2 1 checkout. Can he do it again to win the final? He's going to get a dart, barring a disaster. It's at the bullseye. He's been hitting the bullseye, hit it to beat Rob Cross. Can he nail it to beat the bully boy and lift the roof? off this place. Incredible! Yeah, Absolutely yeah. incredible! Matt Pope, well he should be called the Bully Boy. He's landed the bullseye again. A 1-2-1 one, to one, two win a last leg decider in the semi-final against the world champion Rob Cross. He's done it again in the final. An astonishing story. What a story here in Saarbrücken. It superseded what we saw last year, and what a moment. A huge, huge day for Max Hopp, a huge, huge day for German darts. Max Hopp has stood, and he has delivered. Germany has a hero, and his name is Max Hopp.